Turkey is developing a growing number of lethal-armed drones, ranging in size and capability from large, high-flying bombers to small, low-flying UAVs that can form deadly swarms. These drones have proven themselves in combat operations in Syria, Iraq, Libya and, of course, the ongoing Russian-Ukraine conflict in recent years. In terms of military drones, the Turkish army is one of the top five countries in the world. In this video today, we'll go over the military drones built by Turkey, as well as the ones in development. Number 1. Bayraktar Akinci On April 22, 2022, Turkey's newest unmanned combat aerial vehicle, the Akinci, conducted its first live firing at a sea target. It is planned for Turkey as a high-altitude, long-endurance unmanned combat aerial vehicle. Akinci will be the first UAV capable of launching an air launch cruise missile. The first three units entered service on August 2021, and Akinci has about over 1.3 tons of payload capacity. Powered by two 450 horsepower or 750 horsepower turboprop engines, the drone can go up to a range of 7,500 km and maximum speed about 361 km per hour. Number 2. Bayraktar Kizilema The Kizilema is a planned military drone developed by Turkish armed forces. It is a single-engine, jet-powered, low-observable, supersonic carrier-capable unmanned fighter aircraft. It will be able to travel at near supersonic speeds. It will have a payload capacity of 1.5 tons, which is greater than that of Akinci. The aircraft will be able to take off and land on a dock, and it is scheduled to make its first flight in 2023. Kizilelma's specifications are scarce, but it will have one of the most advanced drone features in the world. Number 3. Bayraktar Mini Bayraktar Mini is a UAV designed for short-range reconnaissance and surveillance missions. It took into the skies for the first time in October 2005. Bayraktar Mini is a hand-launched, portable UAV system designed to operate under harsh geographic and meteorological conditions. Bayraktar Mini is fielded with small army units, and as of 2021, it has recorded more than 100,000 flight hours. System offers a complete autonomy with protective features with a high rank of reliability and easiness for the operators, which makes it a valuable technological asset. Number 4. Bayraktar TB2 The Bayraktar TB2 is a medium-altitude, long-endurance unmanned combat aerial vehicle that can fly remotely or autonomously. It has transformed the Ukrainian war with its pinpoint accuracy in airstrikes. The Bayraktar TB2 is significantly smaller than the designs from the United States, and it has roughly half the wingspan of the Reaper and significantly less payload. It also lacks the satellite communications that allow the American system to reach around the world. But none of this has stopped the Bayraktar from amassing a formidable combat record. Number 5. Bayraktar TB3 The Bayraktar TB3 is a variant of the TB2 that is capable of landing on a ship deck. It is planned to be stationed to Turkey's first amphibious assault ship. The new aircraft being developed is a naval version of the Bayraktar TB2. The Bayraktar TB3 can conduct armed operations overseas due in part to custom capabilities, like foldable wings that enable use on aircraft carriers. The Bayraktar TB3 can be operated from very remote distances thanks to its line-of-sight and beyond-line-of-sight communications capabilities. Number 6. TAI Anka the TAI Anka is a family of unmanned aerial vehicles developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries, primarily for the Turkish Air Force. Envisioned in the early 2000s for aerial surveillance and reconnaissance missions, Anka has evolved into a modular platform with synthetic aperture radar, precise weapons and satellite communication. There are at least five variants of Anka. The basic version, Anka A, was a classified version. The length is about 8.6 meters long and a wingspan of 17.5 meters. Anka's payload capacity is about 350 kilograms. Its cruising speed is maintained at 204 km per hour, although it can speed up to 217 km per hour. 
Number seven, TAI Aksangur. Aksangur is classified as a medium altitude long endurance UAV. Using existing technology from the TAI Anka series of drones, it is the manufacturer's largest drone with payload capacity for mission-specific equipment. It is intended to be used for long-term surveillance, signals intelligence, maritime patrol missions, or as an unmanned combat aerial vehicle. The aircraft is 12 meter long and a wingspan of 24 meters. It has a payload capacity of 1.6 tons. And the cruising speed is maintained at 250 km per hour. Aksangur has a ceiling up to 40,000 feet and can endure up to 60 hours at a maximum range of 6,500 km. Number 8. Vestil Karel Karel is a surveillance, reconnaissance, and later combat unmanned aerial vehicle system. The drone is currently operated by Turkish Armed Forces and the Armed Forces of Saudi Arabia. The aerial vehicle has the ability to protect against lightning thanks to the aluminium network grid on its composite structure. Karel system has novel triple-redundant distributed avionics architecture which ensures protection against all kinds of uncontrolled crash. With this feature, systematic fault safety used only in manned aviation around the world until now has been carried to an unmanned aerial vehicle for the first time with a Karel. And that's it from the buzz for today. Thank you guys for viewing in. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.